When I graduated Tucker Acting School, go parakeets, they called me a drama queen. I don't know why. I never wanted to act. I wanted to coach, to direct. Coaching actors is like showing them how to create a new personality for the character they play. That's Gary. Here I am receiving the Best Director Award, the Big Kahuna, <laughs> the Mother Tucker. Things kind of went askew when I <clears throat> started making major money coaching, giving sympathetic personality makeovers to criminals. This is insulting. Dr. Mayfield, our firm pays Angela a lot of money to help you make a defense that the jury will understand, which means you are paying her. Don't waste her time. Dr. Mayfield, I've only lost one case in my career. Her fault, right? She wouldn't listen to me. She's in jail for life, no parole. It's up to you. You work with me, the jury will love you. You go in looking and sounding like you do. Mezzo, mezzo. Just don't make me gay. I can't make you gay unless you are gay. Well, I'm not. I happen to be one of the nation's top heterosexual orthopedic surgeons. And as far as the jury's concerned, women love me. Children adore me. Men, they envy and admire me. In fact, people on the whole, people wish they were me. See, I understand that. Saving hundreds of grateful patients, bones and limbs. This is what you're telling the jury, doctor. <laughs> and the problem is? Trust me. They'll hate you. Listen to me, and they won't. <laughs> Under charge of criminal negligence, how do you find? We find the defendant not guilty. Congratulations. Have Sylvia mail me my bonus. You are a genius. What a team. Huh? Hey guys. Buy you a drink. <laughs> Twelve more patients to go. Mr. Cooper, you feel better soon. We win, we win. This ain't no strike three job, no. If I done it. Who in the hell are you, bitch? You got a lot of damn nerve trying to tell me what I'm gonna do. Let me tell you what you're gonna do. I'm so sorry you can't find your kitty cat after that fire, Mrs. Bradshaw. I miss little Maxie, too. She was just the sweetest little thing. How's that? These real, not reality show real, real, real. I hate reality shows. Not as much as I hate them. No. I love it. Another acquittal for me, bigger bonus for you. Sylvia has your check. Brilliant. Ooh. Angela Masters. Ms. Masters, I'm your housekeeper, not sure. dog keeper. It's Gary's uh, gift to me. Where do I put your puppy? Uh, should I give him his own bedroom? No. God, Gary, why, why did he ever give me that dog? Because he knows you need love. Okay, 
Back to cleaning. For a little dog, you pack a punch. You have no idea how grateful I am, Angela. And you, you're lucky I'm not Korean. Just kidding, I'm part Korean. <laughs> oh. Wednesday. Never transformed for corporate fraud or simultaneously. Embezzlers, accused embezzlers. I smell a spectacular bonus. <laughs> I get you the background. Thanks. Wonderful. <laughs> the place is a real step up. Speaks well for your work, Enola. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. I think that your find your own investments are really. Is, is that, that a, a puppy? puppy? Terrific. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, he's so cute. What's his name? Uh, leading indicators. Leading I, indicator? I mean, capital assets. You'll be safe with us. I got you something. Thank you very much. How to raise your new book. Oh, great, I'll give it to my new dog keeper. Oh. And his insurance policy. Mm -hmm. I mean, in case anything ever happens to you, now you know that he'll be very well taken care of. That is so cool. I'm not even insured. <laughs> Maybe we should call him Bling. <laughs> I always wondered why you did that. It uh, helps me quit my, you know, my bad habits, like, uh, you know, Chewing my nails and picking my nose. <laughs> Pick your nose. <whistles> Makes me think of a cloud. Just something happy, because I'm a lot happier these days. Something. Thank you very much. Oh, hmm. So, coach, what's next? An agent. Yeah, an agent. You'd think after being on TV for five years, someone would want to represent you. Well, I, I mean, it's not like people don't recognize me. I mean, Angela, they, 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 maybe not every day, but people point at me and they say, you know, didn't you used to be Gary Langston? They, they do that all every day. Somebody says, you know, the deceptive detective? Yeah, but we're gonna get you recognized in the, in the present tense soon. Yeah, I mean, I'm auditioning. I'm keeping my chops up. I really am, I'm focusing. You know what I'd really like to do is I'd really love to get cast in like an independent film, you know, something arty, something gritty, something... Totally, yeah, right part, right role. You bet, you know, just go against type. Yeah. Mean, like, instead of these nice, nice, sensitive, sweet, dopey guys you usually played. Well, I mean, you see, it's more multidimensional. I mean, it's... Maybe. Did you get in touch with Tucker? Well, no. Why... Why would I get in touch with Tucker? Acting school? I mean, they spawn more limericks than graduates. Angie, I... I'm a dropout. Thank you very much. The only reason I got work is because of you. I met you and Tucker. To Tucker! Let's toast to Tucker! Come on! To getting work. No more reality shows! <laughs> Acting forever. Assets is a good watchdog. He doesn't recognize you. <laughs> Capital Assets! Making money for me, are you? You really want to rake it in for Mama? Call yourself offshore accounts. I know what you're thinking. Why someone who's beautiful and smart as me doesn't have a boyfriend at my age? 
Maybe you could be my boyfriend. A weekend at the spa would do me so much good, you know what I'm saying? Calling a priest. Last rites on that monologue. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Don't be. That's why you're working with me to freshen up, you know? Get sharp. Yeah, I know. That's exactly why you work with me, too, right? What does that mean? If it's the day you don't work for the almighty dollar, I think that'd be a great day. Mr. Pot, meet Mr. Kettle. You act for money, big money. Yeah, but I haven't worked in years. And unlike you, I have people on the payroll. I have lawyers. I have what? an expensive acting coach. <gasps> Come on! You know what? And when I do work, I make an honest living. You misuse your craft. You misuse your expertise, Angela. You make Satan look like Father Flanagan. Spencer Tracy, 1938 Academy Award winning performance, second year in a row. Nice. That's nice. I am that good. Change the subject. It's still on principle. And playing the same tedious role with the exact script for five years is walking in the footsteps of Gandhi. That's nice. That's really nice to say. You know what? They're still criminals. White collar rich people. Well, white collar criminals can't be dangerous. Where there's smoke, there's fire, Angela. And trust me, fires can burn out of control. Oh, come on. They need me too much to hurt me. And like Brad says, work is work. I, I know what this means. He gets it. Just pet him. Okay. Come here. Oh, good boy. Anyway, you know, I'm really not that different from that gal they pay plenty to pick jurors. And no, media it's... consultants, pundits who pepper newspapers and TV and stories and, you know, prosecutors and witnesses who lie. Politicians who pick judges who'll do their political bidding. <laughs> Prosecutors and defense lawyers will do anything, anything at all to win. It's not about justice. It's not about justice, Gary. It's about, you know, winning. Okay, May the best about team people's win. people's lives here. You're talking about people's lives. It just... <gasps> uh -oh. To me, it stinks. It does. Uh, ew. Um, do you have a bag? No. I mean, I... I have a... Go ahead. Save it for the laundry? No. B bes besides, I, I don't do it just for me. I, I do it for my, my poor kid's acting camp. Yeah, my poor crippled kid's acting camp. My poor crippled disadvantaged at risk. Summer in the country kind of thing, you know. Okay, whatever, the idea's still in development. You know, let them get out there, explore their creative side. Sing, dance, draw, write, act, you know. Milk a pig, ride a chicken, chase a cow, yanga yanga. You decide. Yes? Did my spa package come yet? I'll call when it arrives. Okay. Hey, Angela, have you seen that new reality show, Farts and All? Hey, reality shows, never watch them. Yeah, I, I know, I don't either, me too. This one completely reeks. I mean, it's this guy, he's a, he's, he's a complete jerk off. And he's trying to get this super hot girl to accept him for who he really is. And... It's an all, I get it, hate it. Yeah, I hate it. You don't think it's really great how you started to take care of Cap, Angela? And yourself, I hope. An army of very expensive people take care of me, Gary. I'm learning to be Cap's army. Well, maybe you don't need that army so much as you just need a man. Men are afraid of my ambition. I'm not afraid of your ambition. What else could it be? Do you ever get away from work? Haven't heard you mention any hot dates or social life in forever. Oh, by the way, speaking of social life, can you watch Cap while I'm at my spa visit? 
Yeah. Yeah, sure. I just... Hello. Hey, Gary. Um, help you? Uh, is Zenona around? Sick. I'm her uh, niece, Siobhan. Right. Gary. I know. You used to be, um... I'm a friend of Angela's, actually, just a acting client. I was hoping that Anona would be here because I... She's at my mother's. Her sister. Taking care of her. <laughs> oh, Cap really <laughs> likes you, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, dude. He likes me, too. Well, Anona's a sweet lady. I hope she's okay. You know, some great work here. Thanks. You know, I actually wanted to be a gardener if acting didn't work out. Since Miss Masters took her in, she's much better. I'm gonna call my venture Seeds, Weeds, and Reeds. <laughs> a writer I dated came up with that. Took her in, what, what do you mean? From a battered woman's shelter? In exchange for a room and board, Auntie cooks, cleans, yard work. We are talking about Angela Masters. Yeah. The counselor told me her mother stayed there with Angela. I guess I remember her saying that her parents were fighting and drinking and... You know, the shelter saved her mother's life. Miss Masters is a real success story. Yeah. If you'd have known her a year ago, I mean, she's always been a great acting coach, she has. I mean, the best in the world. But, uh, you know, acting schools and advisors told their actors not to work with her. They just wanted all that eager money for themselves. Times are tough. Silence! Silence! Jeez, why don't you just shout? I am guilty! I mean, look at your face! It's scratching in this Angela. Are you trying to kill yourself? You know how dangerous open doors are? No, I, 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 I... Angela, really? I do. Angela, you're not ready for our session again? I memorized... No! I, I... We find the defendant guilty. Ha! Guilty, I Four swear to God, I knew that I saw it coming. Oh my God, shit, Miss Cyclone. Everything about him said guilty. Guilty! Jessica, Jessica Helm, you picked the jury. It's a $30,000 mistake, isn't it? Isn't that your fee? $30,000 to cherry pick a jury that can still see this guy's guilty eyes and in his mouth, the way he sits, the way he moves? I mean, really, all of it. Well, Angela, you know, some acting coaches, they actually teach, you know, attorneys and real- Act! <gasps> You're so right! I was gonna say so that they can present themselves in a very authentic- I could do that, I could do that and get rich! Miss Master said she wanted to help women like her mom. My Angela's an angel after all. I always knew she had it in her. I did. Somewhere, you know, helping. Bringing a stranger into her house. <laughs> well, she requested someone over 40. Unattractive. She didn't want, how did she put it? Competition for all the hot men she brings <clears throat> home. <laughs> Which is really interesting. I mean, from where I, auntie sits, the girl gets no action whatsoever. So look, since uh, Angela's off getting spawed, could, uh, if I paid you, would you be able to watch after Cap just for a couple hours? I actually have an audition. Sure. Cool. Come here. No charge. Hey. <laughs> Thanks. You will look fantastic, Ms. Masters. This bucolic wrap and facial will rid your body of nasty toxins that leave you craving more alcohol, mm -hmm. nicotine, caffeine, mm -hmm. sugar, because you mm -hmm. let those venomous mm -hmm. vixens in to begin with, mm -hmm. and now they want company. That's perfectly normal.
It's important to love all your bodily functions. It reminds us of what we have in common with everyone else on the planet. Peeing, pooping, true equalizers. That's Mrs. Kincaid getting her Jan's Brazilian. After your hygienic shower and complimentary tan, you'll get one too. Some itching and discomfort may occur, but mm. your man will love it. Oh, and if you're single, there's something about Jan's Amazonian Brazil that makes you a man magnet. <laughs> Free. I am alcohol free. I am pick my nose free. Kath, you're lucky you're a dog. Appearances are hard to keep up. Impressions are important, especially first ones, even if you don't wear clothes. Lunch and vitamins. Okay, play nice. <laughs> oh my god, I'm becoming someone I make fun of. Ooh. Enjoy the spa, Angela? Now that is a fine cup of chow. Uh-uh. Not understand why I am here. I have lawyer, I know American system, easy to manipulate, I win. Yaro. Hi. Uri? No. Oh. Your lawyer, Mr. Stavyensky, has asked that I defend you now. You've become too much of a liability for him. Ridiculous. So stupid. All his clients are guilty by association. Innocent clients will leave him if he continues to represent you. Mm. I pay big, so no evidence. Yeah. He has worked for me. He has need no other client. Nobody. Well, he says that I represent you now, and that means that you will work with Angela. Why he say this? So you will not look and sound like a crazy Russian mobster who should be sent away even though the crimes you committed really aren't that egregious. Uh, you do not say this word to Yoro. Th that means that the crimes Yoro are up for are not as bad as... I'm sorry. Who are you? Don't worry. Talk to Yoro. Good friend. Woman work for me. Yeah. Woman not tell Yoro what to do. <laughs> Seems I'm not wanted here, gentlemen. Good day. And I use that term loosely. Bye-bye. Don't work with Angela, and no legitimate attorney will represent you again. Hmm. No belief. Okay, well, no problem. Uh, I give beach try. What is the hell? Um, excuse me. I'm sorry to touch your leather. Could you please wait outside? Hey, beach. Uri, always a Yoro. Yoro, always with Uri. Uri and Yoro. Yoro and Uri. You just called uh, me a bitch. Uh, Uri. Wait just outside. Okay, boom. Yeah, so right here. Um, I'll go find the chair. Careful. You go find chair, Ori. Uh, sit. Please. Okay, I sit. Great. For a minute. This is what you're telling the jury. You're a power and control freak closed up tighter than a KGB agent sphincter. You can't be trusted. You'd lie about anything to make the world appear as you want it to, not as it really is, to have people see you as you want them to, not as you really are. The lips of honest people are casually open, like this. Right, very good. Your arms and legs are crossed. I think that, that kind of goes without saying, closed off. You're sitting at an angle. 
Squared shoulders convey an openness and sincerity, while frankly, you don't possess. You look out of the corners of your squinted eyes, blinking, often cutting us off from your true feelings. Your face is tilted back. You not only look down on others, this is too dark. But you actually think that the world has victimized you. This is fabulous, don't you think so? You want not justice, but revenge. Shallow breathing. You live and respond in fear. You're paranoid. This all adds up to someone who appears menacing, but you are afraid that others will discover the real, empty, weak, scaredy cat, you. Make Yaro small as Dolly Bubbles can don't stay. <laughs> Dark, scared. <laughs> Brothers be Yaro, brothers be little Yaro, until he become best bigger pocket. <laughs> now, I'm most biggest cheers. <laughs> you make Yaro adorable. Lots of work. Tongue placement creates one's accent. Say with me. Bitty baby body body boo. Bitty baby body baby boo. No, bitty baby body body boo. Bitty baby body baby boo. No, bitty baby body body boo. Bitty baby body baby boo. Bitty baby body body boo. Bitty baby body 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 Gary, yeah, I'll meet you at the studio. Time's up. With the stipulations in your wills, answering service gets it. Stipulation, your permanent life insurance plan will about the interruption. <laughs> and Nona, we understand. Excuse me? We used to be closeted too. We've been there, where you are. Trust us, we won't say anything. I'll just say this. We have never been happier than after we came out. And if you ever need any support, you and Angela, Angela can count on us. Oh, she did. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Where do we sign? Uh, are you sure? <laughs> it's 
That's a lot of Doing business with a sister? I mean, definitely something we can support, mm. as do our friends. I'm sure you'll hear from them. <laughs> Thank you. Yoro, love. Scare, pet parrot, echo, with noise and mean face. He slam baseball bat, demand rent. Echo have a heart attack, fall to bottom of cage, on back, clunk, little hands up. Yevgeny say, we no have money. Only parrot for to entertain in street. People pay for to see him speak and sing and dance. We no die from being afraid of Yarrow. We only throw up, vomit. Echo not so lucky. Isn't it true? Mrs. Baroshkita, that Mr. Morislav would threaten and even beat tenants in your building just because they could not pay their rent on time. Objection, hearsay. Withdrawn. Your sweet, innocent pet parrot, frightened to death by this slumlord thug. Objection, we don't know what killed, made, that poor bird passed away. Sustained. Echo, best friend. Meal ticket. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> that poor little parrot. <laughs> Objection. The defendant will refrain from any outburst. How many people have you, sir, uh, personally threatened and or uh, beaten collecting late rents from your Objection. Tenants? Sustained. No, no, please. I want to answer. <clears throat> Before I found God and my personal Savior, Jesus Christ, I'm ashamed to admit I was a violent man. But I'm afraid in this case, our poor Ms. Zaborskita has identified the wrong person. I was a member of a gang, a violent gang, who terrorized and tormented our beloved elders like Ms. Zaborskita. As a joke, a very cruel joke, a very cruel joke. We even tease their pets. I'm so sorry about your parent. I now work with that risk birds and risky youth. I've even joined the National Audubon Society. Look, Ms. Borskita, I know he can never be replaced, but I would like to give you a new live parrot, a new echo. Echo, echo, echo. <clears throat> Do you, do you really expect us to believe, sir, that you have made this massive, radical transformation in such a short amount of time? Yes, that was me. Such a lost soul. But wasn't it Father Flanagan, played by Spencer Tracy in the great 1938 film Boys Town, for which he won an Academy Award, who said, there's no such thing as a bad boy. Yeah, perhaps it was. But there is such a thing, sir, as a bad man. A very bad man. And that was his second Academy Award win. In a row. His first came in 1937. Captain's Courageous. The, the, uh, the testimony about your threats. I admit, I once was not responsible for my behavior. 
But those days are gone. Gone? Gone. 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 Gone? Gone? <laughs> gone? You nearly frightened Mrs. Barashkita and her poor, wretched, pathetic husband to death only four months ago. Bless her. Oh, Your Honor, I see the same advanced macular degeneration in her eyes as I saw in my great-grandmother <laughs> just months before she died of dementia. <laughs> She'd call out to me. Gary! Gary! I'd say, no, great grandmother. <laughs> I'm not Gary, I'm Yaro. <laughs> she loved Terry Grant so much. <laughs> Never believed those rumors about him and Randolph Scott. <laughs> Your Honor, answer the question, Mr. Morrislaw. I'm sorry. It's just I love my blind, my blind. <laughs> she was blind. My blind old granny. <laughs> she drowned in a bowl of her own delicious borscht. <laughs> she lay down to take a nap, and her nap pillow was red, and the borscht was red, and she lay down and then... You want her? <laughs> it was generous. It was generous. Before Angela, the jury wanted to send you to Siberia on the mere suspicion of spitting on a sidewalk. To uh, yeah. Angela. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, the jury loved you. I'm loving can you sell? Yeah, uh, both. When you drink the vodka, you sound more Russian again, boss. Yeah. Fire show. Fire show. Nostrovia. Elendre Branch. Fire show. Nostrovia. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. Take a deep breath. Just relax. I'll meet you at the studio. Relax. Relax. Sorry, gentlemen. A client needs me. Oh. You're yeah. leaving me? Yaro, congratulations. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Angela. Thanks to you for getting me off. <laughs> I can't remember these lines, Angela. Gary, we don't need to work on your lines. We need to work on your confidence. And I can't help you. I'm backed up with Brad's clients. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Just, what if I gave you a hand? Really? It's going to help me win an Academy Award? Yeah, sure. Yeah, watching each character transition would really help you. OK. You really think I won an Academy Award for this? You have to perform the role first. Yeah, yeah. Great an idea, though, that I could do like an accent, right? And I'll just go in this murder spree. No, no, no. Just forget the accent. Yeah, no, I, I, I won't do that. That's that's that's. Okay, just. Am I stupid? I mean, is this dumb? Is it is it is it a bad idea for somebody nice like me to play a serial killer? I mean, is I stupid to take this role because I I I, I rack my brain. And I try to think of something that would make me want to kill someone, or even 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 somebody that I would want to kill. Don't do that. These are cockroaches. Yeah, make your victims into cockroaches, less than human. Good. Right. Be on set with me, Angela. Gary, sweetheart. What? Gary, you played a successful, popular detective on TV for five years, week after week. I, you know, but he, 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 was, he was a good guy, Angela. He was normal. He was, he was funny. And, I, yeah. and I played a doofus, a complete doofus, who just unintentionally solved no, crime. No, Gary, you were really, really good. I don't know what happened to me. I just, I started to pretend. I just quit acting. Where? Cockroach. Cockroach. It's a cockroach. 
It's a cock. It is a cock, Rhodes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. You kill your victims with that kind of vengeance, and I, you're going to have an Oscar on your mantle. I, I can do that. I can make. I can just. I can do that. They're all cockroaches. When I think of them, cockroaches. I just, okay. Okay. Isn't like a disgusting, just a uh, repulsive individual. Yes. Uh, cockroach. Yeah. I can do that. I can do that. Okay. I can totally get into that. Okay. I can. I can. I'll just. I'll just I'll see everybody with their little legs and cockroaches. See you tomorrow at seven. Okay, okay. Oh, by the way, can you turn the lights out when you leave? Okay. relations with that woman. Isn't this the insurance fraud case? I mean... Right. So, uh, how do you explain all the jewelry found in your lingerie drawer, huh? Huh? Okay, when you hear that, think... What is 2,397 divided by six? I love dog eat daycare. It's my favorite place. I have no idea how you do this, Angela. What? You, you help these people. Brad gets them off. Nobody criticizes him. OK, first of all, it's Brad's job. Hey, go, buddy. I just help his vigorous defense. No, what you do is you obstruct the due process, Angela. That's what you do. The Constitution says that you can't cast your innocence until proven guilty. That doesn't change the fact that your integrity is completely gone with the wind. I help people. I make sure juries don't fall back on stereotypes. Don't be so judgmental. Judgmental? Judgmental? Angela, there's a hell of a difference between being judgmental and using good judgment. Obviously, you can't tell the difference which is which. There you go, buddy. It has to be legal or Brad wouldn't do it. OK, first of all, Brad, Angela, really, Brad? You have any idea why you get kicked out of Tucker? Because I caught him cheating. He got kicked out of Tucker? Nobody has to cheat at Tucker. It's so. Exactly. Why would you cheat at Tucker unless you're an idiot? And he is. I looked him in the eye. I said, you fess up or you get the hell out. But he's so successful. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, bravo. That's what you consider success. Good touch of the power. 
They can connect us to sex ring, yeah, boys? Close door. Stupnigal Svenjenski gets himself caught. There is no evidence I'm even knowing him. Come here. New cargo to replace lost inventory arrives tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 65 Russian girls. <laughs> There's any trouble because of Svenjenski's stupidity. Destroy the evidence. Kill them all, boys. No evidence. No eyewitnesses, no evidence. Okay, boys. Oh, my. I can't bring down. Where are my embezzlers? Brad's embezzlers. Wait for bread too. Oh. You are not hearing us speak. You speak? Yes. You two speak? When? No. <laughs> I haven't heard you speak, and why? I would not want to see you be hurt. Yeah. Angela. It's terrible. Maybe worse. More terrible. Yeah. I need to make certain you are not here as spiak. <gasps> you hear us? How is it I can do this, huh? I don't know what you're spiaking about, Yarrow. However, <gasps> I'm gonna just make a call to Sylvia. Hi, I was just wondering where you... Oh, right, conference room too. My bad. Be there in a tick. Okay. I'm sorry for interrupting. Homicide victim, the alleged one, the one we couldn't put away for? William Winfield, the innocent bystander, witness, who leaves a widow and four kids. Widow? Four kids. Oh. I need the victim's assistance for him. Coming at you. I think I'm in danger. It's true. Hey, I'm in danger. Please. I'm serious. I heard Yarrow. The murdering son of a bitch. You helped avoid being brought to justice. You talking to someone, Winslow? No. He's bringing women from Russia for repulsive reasons. Well, he's getting cocky. He thinks he can get away with it. I wonder why. He said that if the girls ran into any trouble of any kind when they arrived, that he wanted them all killed. No witnesses, no evidence. Well, that sounds like the Yarrow we know and love. He said he'd hate to see me get hurt. Or worse, if I overheard him and I overheard him, he could or worse me to death. I don't want to be killed. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Good thing he's not Wufong. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Yaro's rival, Wufong. Hate each other. Oh, yeah. Fong will shoot you just to see if his gun works. <laughs> Slit your throat just to see if his knife is sharp. And daze you, bro, just to see if you're still breathing. Hear that about Yaro, too. I have a family. Who's going to take care of Cap? Well, Miss Masters, a lot of complaint. Thank you. 
doing here? I was just filing papers at the police station for a client, not your boss. Okay, okay. Here. I'm sorry. Here. Let me act on that. Undeniable. It's... Yet! 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 Dogs are barking enough for the both of us. Don't shoot, please, or make your vicious dog attack me. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Are, are you trying to tell me something, Angela? Is my acting that bad, really? What time is it? It's, uh, it's 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock sharp. I'm on time. I brought breakfast, too. So what were you doing under the table? Someone's trying to kill me. Yeah, right. No. So what are you really doing? I'm serious. A Russian homicidal maniac is after me. And I can't, I can't even tell you who because it would put you in danger. Oh my God, you're serious. That's, 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 that's crazy. Did you call the cops? I, I did. I, I, I called the cops, but they hate me. Right. Oh, can you, can you take care of Cap for me? Sure. Sure, yeah. Okay. Wow, that's so scary. You know, speaking of which, I completely figured out what you wanted me to figure out. I figured out why my character kills. Yeah, survival. Survival. Responsibility. He keeps killing because there's no evidence against him, right? Oh, yeah. Survival. I mean, there's no witnesses because he's killed them all. So inside of his head, there's a little guy telling him what to do. So he doesn't take responsibility for any of his actions, right? Oh, so he keeps oh. killing and killing and killing 100% conscience free. Right? Oh, no. And just like you said, I mean, it's only a matter of time before he's toast. Yes, so the yes. killing gives him a weird Perfect. sense of power. Yes. Completely like a little child. And it's a quick fix, and then empty. And then, it's like lonely, even. No one can negotiate with him. And you know what else? <gasps> he's got a false sense of entitlement. Like he deserves the power of life and death, like God. Okay, you're, you're, you're a mess, sweetie. If people are looking for you, they're coming here sooner or later. Oh, you, God. You're so right. You have to take me someplace. Okay. And, and, and I can't be recognized. No. Right now. Okay. okay. I mean okay. it all. Hey, we gotta buddy. go. We gotta go. Thanks, Gare. Be a good boy, Cap. hands are really tied on this. Could you please get your tail off my desk? No evidence? Someone shot at my magazine, my letters, my window. You know what? Your housekeeper does have actual evidence of attempted homicide because that same bullet almost killed her. What? Oh my god, I didn't know. I haven't been home. Is she okay? What happened to her? A book 
miraculously stopped the bullet from killing her. She's in a woman's shelter now. Uh, she, oh, she does miss your dog. Damn. She thinks her ex found her and tried to kill her. Nothing about you or Yuri or Yato. Uri. We have her ex in custody. His alibi holds. Wow, he really married down. Yeah, we're making sure he still doesn't find her anyway. <laughs> Convince Yaro you, you didn't hear him. Gee, I'm sure I'm gonna try that again. You're sure it's him? Then help us. Brad, thanks for setting this up. Something I shouldn't know about? I'm afraid so. Uh, well, it's Mr. Dapper now after his big win. And Rug. Great work, Angela. Yeah, great work. Great work, great work. Hey, Angela! What a pleasant surprise. Have fun! Hey, Brad! Have good day! Goodbye, Brad. Any chance this can be you and me? So, um, how's your friend, Prosecutor Smith? He takes great delight in telling me how much he hates me for working with people like you. In detail. Police one day, Prosecutor Smith the next. Why can't we be alone? Because you're an Uri. Uri and Yaro. But little walls have big ears. What is it the hell does that mean? Little paintings have big eyes. Little thing. Yeah, you know, some as well. Yeah, I've yeah. seen this, yeah. So, forgive me, must ask you, open jacket. Must be sure you're not wearing a fumus wire. Open jacket. Just for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. If only we were on the same side. Yeah, same side, boss. Uh, but we can be. Uri should check the park for bugs. Uri's don't never take no instruction from woman. Check for bugs. Okay, boys. <sighs> okay, you're okay. I can't run forever. You'd track me down. You'd find me. You'd have me killed sooner or later. Da. You're too smart, too well connected. But you need me. I want in. Ian? I admit it, I heard you. 65 women from Russia. I figure that cargo is worth a lot of money. Ah. I also know that you have women already working here. Hmm. So, hmm. how is it you see yourself? I clean up all your raggedy Andres and Vladimirs and Frashenkos. Give them an all-American makeover. Hmm. Why do you do this? Of course, the Yankee dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Same rich. Are you nuts? No. That's American for niet. Do you pour good Russian vodka down sink to unplug clogged pipe? Yet. Or do you drink it? Then pee and drain to clear it. This costs you in my country, yeah. Double my fee now, triple later. Hmm. You're not really in position to negotiate. But I am. With my help, you can make 10 times the money you're making now. Hmm. I am definitely worth it. Hmm. I'd only work with your colleagues. Brad. We'll be pissed, but I have to think about myself, my future, working half the time for twice the money. The American way, a trait I admire. So your answer now, or? Or what? You made me laugh, Angela. Or Wu Fong, he's offering me.
and action. You think you're gonna kill my daddy and nothing gonna come of it? You wrong. I ain't had nobody to raise me up to a little boy. I'll take vengeance on you! I'll take vengeance! This is my kind of justice! This is my kind of justice! Cause I'm God's warrior! I'm God's warrior! <laughs> a turf war, come after me and they'll kill you. You would work for who? Highest bidder. Extortion. Have a good day, Yaro. Angela! When is it can you start? When I get my advance. Everyone wanted me. Okay. Here we go. And your first client is Yevchenko. He brings girls tomorrow. He is needs help. Fresh from Ukraine. We want to attract a higher clientele. Uh, when and where? Uh, they arrive at dawn tomorrow near Baylard Docks. You meet them at the Salmon Bay Cafe. They'll ask for a table for four. You are number four. These beauties worth millions. How many, please? Three. Four. Four, I am meaning four. Mr. Yevchenko? Angela Masters. Let me work with the women. Educated, the quality of your clients goes up. <laughs> I'll give you a deal. No women educate. Fine. See you tomorrow. Ten? Yaro's office. You ever say you are, make me look like David Hasselhoff? <laughs> <laughs> That's my card. Exploding. US dollars. My pocket. Oh, cash. You think I'm a hoe? Or are you making a bribe? Make you bribe? Or make you marriage proposal? Get him out of here. You could stop! Solicitation and bribery to cover up Butterball. So you believed you had to help him or he would kill you. No doubt. One of his assassins shot at me outside my house, home, 
right after he threatened me. Whoa, whoa. Threatened you? Threatened me. Yeah, he thought I overheard him talking about his mob bringing 65 Russian women into the country for his sex slave Objection. Ring. Hearsay? I'll allow it. And did you overhear this? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, how did you feel when you believed that uh, Mr. Marislav wanted to kill you? Hey, Moshe, please. Objection. Sustained. After you spoke with him in the law office that day, how did you feel? Afraid for my life. Afraid for my life, particularly after somebody shot at me, barely missing me, hitting my magazine and letters and... Oh, isn't that a federal offense, tampering with my, my mail? Objection. Just answer the question. Well, then, the bullet went through my window, hitting a book that my housekeeper was reading in the living room. It could have killed her if she hadn't been reading Susie Orman's latest. Hardback thick. Objection. Witness is no ballistics expert. Sustained. It's your witness. Let me get this straight. The defendant spoke of having a party. Uh, objection. It's not his social life that's on trial. Denied. A party inviting 65 women. And you assumed that he was talking about bringing them here for sex slavery? No, he, he, he didn't mention a party. He said that if anything went wrong with the delivery of the 65 Russian women, girls, that Uri should kill them all so there'd be no witnesses, no evidence. Objection here. Your Honor, I don't think defense can object to the answer to his own question. Sustained. The jury will disregard defense objection. The answer stands. When you entered the room after eavesdropping and misconstruing no, his objection. words... objection! He's mischaracterizing this witness's veracity. Sustained. Ms. Masters, do you speak Russian? No. Well, do svidaniya. Nyet. Vodka. So, the defendant could have spoken Russian, and you would not have the slightest notion of what he said. Well, I guess if he spoke Russian, but he didn't speak Russian. Your Honor. Objection! Asked and clearly answered. Not really. Denied. He only spoke English. Nicotine gum. I'm quitting smoking. Mm. Now, to your next statement, that he threatened you. What did he say? He did see me Excuse me. Speak up, please. He said that if I overheard him say anything, that he would hate to see me hurt. Or worse. And you took that as a threat instead of someone expressing concern for you? Do we know each other? Yeah, we went to acting school 10 years ago. You dropped out. And... If I said to you, Angela, I would hate to see you get hurt, would you take that as a threat? Of course not. What is happening here? You were... American. He's Russian. A big bad Russian. A boogeyman. A member of the mysterious mean Russian mob, right? Like all Russians in your mind. Objection, leading the witness. Although, where there's smoke. Mr. Prosecutor, don't you push me either. You know that's not true. How? Because we're actors, we're artists, we're very accepting people, very open-minded. you find the defendant scary. I wonder if members of the jury find the defendant terrifying, since he has displayed a level of candor, innocence, and charm that few have ever displayed in a courtroom. Objection. The defendant is not in a beauty pageant. But he's only acting like that because of my training. Excuse, Excuse me? me? I taught him how to come across to juries as kind, caring, compassionate, humane, sensitive, so that they would not see him for who he really is. A heartless, homicidal maniac! Your Honor. The jury will disregard the last part of that answer. You're saying that this man, who we've seen with our own eyes, day after day in this courtroom, is not who he really says he is? No, he's just, it's him, but he's different in real life. You're saying he's completely fooled this jury? 
Maybe. You're saying this jury is so stupid, so ignorant, so blind that they can't tell who is real and who is not. Objection. She loves this intelligent and uh, quite attractive jury. Not stupid or ignorant, maybe gullible. No, no, no. I didn't mean that. I'm, I, I didn't mean to say that. Pardon me. Is anyone sitting here? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, not only is Ms. Masters calling the defendant evil, vicious, homicidal, despite his calm and caring demeanor, despite the good works he has done in his community, she's saying you are gullible. You can't be trusted to make your own decisions about what you see and hear for yourselves with your own eyes and ears. What are you doing, Mr. Smith? Oh, just testing my own personal threshold of pain, Your Honor. You! Son of a bitch! Mother of God! Silence! Silence! Angela, uh, weren't you hired by the government to entrap <gasps> Mr. Moroslav and Mr. Standinoff? No, I already told you that. I didn't do that. Well, why did you do it? To save my life, to save the lives of those people. Poor women and girls. Don't you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's a... huh. Miss Masters, are you jealous? Jealous? No, me? What? Brad, what are you talking about? Have you ever been attracted to the defendant Uri Standinoff? Absolutely not. Trust me. Yaro is a fake. Don't look at him. He's the devil. He's Bob, Mr. Hades himself until my training. Till I gave him a complete transformation. You would have shipped him out of this country in a bee-stained dirt-filled rat-fested bar. He's a bloodthirsty psychopath. Your Honor. Silence! The jury will disregard Miss Master's outburst. When I started out the day, I knew I said it was going to be a really good. I'm so dirty. Questions for this witness? Hmm? Uh, no, Your Honor. I think Ms. Masters has pretty much made the case for the defense. Court is adjourned. I just never. I'm just trying to quit smoking. You see, it's very difficult to quit smoking. And, um, I just don't ever take a puff of a cigarette because it's very funny. Winslow. 
weren't you? I was. I, I can't believe a famous deceptive detective would meet up. The writers actually tell me how to solve the crimes. Detective like me? Why are you here? Uh, I just wanted to tell you I'm sorry what happened in court. It must have been excruciating, humiliating, embarrassing. You know, considering what you do and all, <laughs> making people look good for juries, and then having this horrible public meltdown. <laughs> you could have used some of your coaching to come across as saying, no, I actually volunteered for your protection crew, at least until you- Until what, I get killed? Escape to another country? I mean, why haven't you put these guys away? They're monsters! <gasps> right, point taken. Handle the masters, what's left of her. No comment. No, I don't have a psychiatrist, you piece of shit! Sorry. Witness protection? Leaving the country. It's the least I can do after messing up so many of your cases. <gasps> you know, there's a bizarre upside to what you did with these guys. Some of them are trying to keep their image and their life cleaned up and, and staying out of trouble. Actually, some have taken classes, they've moved, quit drinking, gotten a job. <gasps> oh, mother of God! Is there somebody at the door? I'll get it. Hey, hey Shafan. Oh, she's she's good, she's a friend. Go ahead, join the party. Yes? This is Chiffon, Anona's niece. Anona's niece? Uh, the shelter said... I'm just here to um, pick up aunties. Oh, I, I have a dozen messages. I, I didn't write them all down. Some gay, lesbian, transgendered something something says Anona's been picked as business of the year. Is she freelancing as is a living okay? housekeeping? I thought she was my is housekeeper. She safe from her ex-husband? Oh, yes. A huge mix-up. Thanks. <laughs> Actually, I'm here about the house. I'm selling it. I have to leave the country. My finances sort of took a dip with all... You and Cap can stay with me. Are you kidding? <sighs> my bedroom's bigger. Anyway, someone's buying my house right now. Cash, I get paid, I can get my roots done. Manny Petty, look at me, I need my aesthetic army. Angela, I came to thank you. You helped my aunt when she needed a safe home and a job. I was generous, wasn't I? It feels good to give, yes. I'm a giver. I see that now. Um, actually, you're... She was so good with Cap. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him when I move. Angela, Capital Assets is your family. You take him. He's... He's the best present anyone ever gave you. Can't you see how much he cares for you? How much he wants you to feel loved and happy? And I'm not just talking about Kat. No, actually, I, I don't really think she feels the same way. Well. I, I don't know what to say. You're my best friend. You're... Uh, Miss Kim, can I talk to you for a minute? If you need anything, count me in. Okay. you, Angie, you and Cap, more than, more than I can say. Look, I never did Shakespeare. Not in Tucker's curriculum. Yeah, so I don't know sonnets. And I thought maybe Cap could bring you the kind of unconditional love that I felt for you for so long. I envy him. Sitting in your arms. Look in your face. Licking my face? You want to lick my face? Not in public. No. <laughs> no. I want to kiss it. Like that. Hey, 
seen something. You know, it's probably my fault. I left the door open so Cap could get out. I just... Wait! I got an idea. Americans in the pitch. Gubia. Gubia, yes. We cannot let her get away with this. You know? Yaro. Eh. Sorry to, uh... Oh, excuse me. I, I, I didn't mean to interrupt dinner. Um, you have to sign these papers. to it oh I'm sorry I have to prepare for court tomorrow so Are you okay Yaro is something wrong is there case is ready immigration papers in order no nope. good Excuse me, um, I have to tell you, Angela's here to rescue the mutt. Oh. Police? No, she snuck out. Well, we know how to deal with Angela. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Wait. You're helping her, and you're tipping me off. Hmm. You're a good lawyer, Brad. <laughs> God knows I try. Yeah. Can I bill extra for that? Yeah, right. It's a little joke. I will be glad when I do not hit a dog again. <laughs> when she comes to rescue him, we'll make the ransom demand for Angela. <laughs> <laughs> and who is pay ransom for her with no money? <laughs> Worry. Okay, boys. What do you want, Yaro? I'm knowing you're outside, Angela. You cannot escape me. Your career is ruined. You join me, I make you very happy and very rich. That sounds downright American. Thank you. So where is your little dog, Angela? I'm not here to speak of him. Did you know that he's worth $10,000? Oh, no. Yeah, that's grand theft larceny. 10 years in the pen, so stick it. <laughs> oh, yeah, wouldn't that be funny? Get away with murder for decades only to be upended by an expensive puppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His collar sending a GPS signal. He's being traced. So... Oh. The dog! Come, the dog! Throw him out the window! Get open the window! Oh, all this dirty, dirty, dirty. It's dirty. It's really filthy. Excuse me, what are you doing there? 
We have keys for that. It's an antique building. Let me get that. You just calm down. Just give it a break. Thank you. It's one of these keys. I'm gonna open it for you. I think it might be that one right there. Ah! Ooh. Slow mouse gets cheese. Freeze, you filthy puppy thieves! Oh my freeze, god, my life totally! Put your hands up. Put them up, Angela. Hi. Give me the gun. Please put your hands behind your back. She was to kill us. You call us a filthy commies. Defile our evil rights. She kill Yaro. No way! They tried to kill Cap and throw him out the window. Cool blood. Uh, she say, uh, take that, boom, uh, for uh, humiliate her. Did you kill Yaro? I didn't kill anybody. No one did. Okay. Oh, oh my God! Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Ballistics. Don't say a word, Angie. You lawyered up. I didn't call him, I swear. You being here makes me look guilty. Shh. I'll have you out of here by morning. Sooner if I Brad, get the prosecutor. Brad, I deserve to go to jail. Please Are just... you crazy? I know people. What I have been doing with you, I'm not blaming it's you. It's perfectly just, it's, it's legal. Bad. No, it's not. It's tampering with evidence. The personalities, the real behavior of people that you defend is wrong. Nonsense. It's just a game. It's cheating. And this is my karmic debt. I understand now. I have my integrity back. Yes, I sense it. And it feels good. Angela, we're a great team. No. You must know how I feel about you. You have never been more beautiful. Seeing your passion, I get so turned on. Okay. I love you, and I know how to take care of a high-maintenance woman like you. Gary. Gary doesn't know you like I do. You are way out of his league. He is a loser. Weak. Soft. Yeah, I wasn't going to tell you this because I thought you were sweet on him, but once I caught him crying at Tucker over some girl. What kind of real man does that? Gary is going to pick me up when I get out of the joint, the slammer, the crowbar motel, the who's gal. What would we do with capital assets? The dog? Don't worry about him getting in our way. We'll have pet sitters 24-7. Yeah, what are you going to do when you sit in jail, rotting for aiding and abetting Yarrow for kidnapping him? What? Yeah. You warned him, aided, abetted. Grand theft, larceny, felony. Yeah, Frickus Guy and Frackus Guy spilled the beats for a deal. Okay. Uh, stop. Listen. Look, I am Brad Sanders. If I wasn't in such an enlightened and spiritual space, I would say, you deserve it, you no good son of a bitch. You need to think about this. I'm your man, Angela. Shop it! Brad Sanders, stand up, please. You're under arrest for aiding and abetting. Please put your hands behind your back. Really? Yes. Incarcerate me. <laughs> Preliminary ballistics indicate that a ricocheted bullet killed Yaller. You're free to go, Angela. Uh -oh. Just don't leave the city. Okay, that's my shoulders out now. Okay, right to the hospital. Okay, yeah. yes, right away. Okay. Can I have your badge number? Yeah. Please? Okay. Al? Uh, no, that's great. You've hurt my shoulder. That's a very expensive watch, and I think you broke my wrist. Oh, now you hit me. Okay, that's fine. That's my bad arm is Cap, mommy's a complete failure. I'm homeless, carless, jobless. I've lost my identity, and I can't leave town. 
My first home. Took every cent I have, but... Where did you get that much money? I'm a financial planner. Well, you know, just getting started, but working from home saves. Angela. Yes. I have an idea. Angela, your cottage is really cool. Have you ever been in here? Why would I? I thought it was just for servants. In exchange for cleaning, cooking, and yard work. Just like Auntie. I did do that for your aunt, didn't I? It's good to discover the real me. Although you're taking your life into your own hands, I don't cook. I don't even wash my own hair. Oh, look, there's a spot for your Oscar, honey. Your lips to the Academy's ears. Detective Winslow, how are you? Hello. <laughs> you know, most of Yarrow's playmates are either in jail or they've been deported. And all the women are in protective custody. Uh, Yuri talked. He said that without Yarrow, crime doesn't do it for him anymore. He got immunity. He's gonna open an embroidery shop <laughs> with his uh, cousin, Krokak. Wow. Sounds like he did his own character transformation, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, totally. Guest house warming gift uh, of some sort. <laughs> you guys want some coffee? Sugar and cream. Okay, please. Please. Thanks. Hello, Angela Masters. In, In here. here. There she is. Angela Masters, Jerry Cross, talent agent, Los Angeles. You are the news everywhere. The picture of you losing it on TV incessantly. Ooh, such passion, such fame. No such thing as bad publicity, darling. Crazed hero, instant expert. They'll ask you everything about hemlines, politics, weather. I can get you on every talk show and guest star in roles on all the hit TV shows. Yeah! You stood up to the Russian mob. She did. You'll be more famous than anyone but Jesus. Oh, yeah, there's just one caveat. My husband, my future husband, he needs a good agent, too. Gary Langton. The deceptive detective. detective. Yes. Of course. Yes. I just did a super, super low-budget independent film. I play this psychotic serial killer. Hmm. The nicest detective ever playing a serial killer. I love it. You love it. I see it now. You two could have your own reality show. We would no. totally, we, not, we, we wouldn't do a reality show though. Mm -mm. I mean, it's just not arty and stuff. It was so much the beautiful funeral for you all, you know? Very large turnout too. Yeah, three people. Uh, what has happened to us too? Uh, is now fertilized areas. Mm. I still cannot believe how much is cutthroat with business embroidery. Eh, what am I to know this cousin? New shop is now open end of street, huh? Romania. It is pity, perhaps shop is burned to ground before it even open. Yeah, uh, would be pity. Better is wait until after open with full inventory, then burn to ground, eh? <laughs> Are you seeing Svetlana at Monday French stitch class? I admire how tight these here little knots. <laughs> I am see, cousin, how large and firm and round her hoops, huh? <laughs> <laughs> It is amazed to me. How much is the chick magnet business embroidery? Ah, oh, Uri, stitches, bring his bitches, huh? <laughs> Wasted so many years running lab of meth. <laughs> so many years with Yaro. Yaro and Uri. Uri and Yaro. You are missing him now, da? Yeah, yeah, teach me embroidery in mother country, yeah. Yarrow fine knitter. Good with a crochet hook. Yeah, you make sweater for me, yeah? Uh. Maybe we open knit shop next and learn to finish. No, 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 cousin, not do this. Then maybe then lose emotional value, huh? Nausea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cousin Krokak, is your English so much the terrible? Eh, mongrel tongue is. No, well, you described to me a motion of uh, memory, uh, bittersweet. His word, nostalgia. Nostalgia? Nostalgia. 
<laughs> I am love how good you talk the English good now, my friend. Ah, uh, I'm smart, I learn. Uh, Patrika and Belowa come over soon for a little big stitch class, huh? Oh. I get vodka for? What is time, cousin? It's 10 in the morning. Too early is. Uh, it's somewhere in Siberia. Gulag is open. Yeah, we drink, yeah. But it's toast to Yaro. Spasiba, Yaro. Ah, it's cold as summer in Minsk. Yaro, rest in peace. Eternally in peace. Right. <laughs> 